All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the drive through for a remix. All right, this is a 5-3. If you don't factor well, this you're going to find this lesson to be nearly impossible. Uh, but I'm going to do almost half the assignment for you. You're going to be challenged to do the rest. If you need help with factoring, come see Mr. Pletzerai. Um, and also realize that as we move on in this chapter, you are going to be given more tools that you can use to solve equations like this. Finally, use your graphing calculator to help you. But let's go. Okay, in order to get started on number one, you've got to know this trick of how to factor uh, a sum or a difference of cubes. So this is a called a sum of cubes because 512 is equal to 8 cubed. And uh, Mrs. Cahill, big ups, she taught me this SOP, same, opposite, positive. So when you have x cubed minus 8, sorry, plus 8 cubed, you can rewrite that. You just write the first factor is you keep the sign the same. And then in here, it's going to be opposite, so minus um, the multiplication of the factors, and then plus 8 squared. So that's where this came from. In case you were wondering if it's x cubed minus 512, that's equal to x, it's same, x minus 8 times x plus opposite. So that's how you factor it if it's a difference of cubes. Okay, so now, sorry, this should be an x squared, that should be an x squared, and now we're talking. All right. Now, we're trying to f solve this. x plus 8 times x squared minus 8x plus 64 equals 0. Okay? So we know that x could equal negative 8 from this. But what does x squared minus 8x plus 64 look like? Let's put that in our graphing calculator. So y equals, clear, x squared minus 8x plus 64. Let's graph it. All right, so it's off the charts. Um, let's see, we could like go zoom fit maybe watch down here and that'll just fit it to some graph and you'll see that it's um, way above the axis and it's to the right okay so what that means let me go zoom six again get it back to normal let's go to the table you'll see that there's no zeros for this thing. The answers are always very positive. Well, that means that the other answers are imaginary. Okay. Now, this is where having the John Rick program really helps you. I suggest you see me or see Carson or see Scott Brown or see someone that has that program so that you get it. But you don't need it. You can just use the quadratic formula. So x equals minus b plus or minus, big square root of, b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. So we are finding the answers to this using the quadratic formula, because now that is a quadratic. So x equals 8 plus or minus, big square root of, b squared is 64 minus 4 times 1 times 64 
all over 2 times 1. So, what is 64 minus 4 times 64? Sixty four minus four times sixty four. So you get eight plus or minus a radical negative one hundred and ninety two over two. Um, all right, the square root of one ninety two. Is that a perfect square? No, it's eighty one times no no. Oh, this is hard. Okay, so what goes into 92? Does 16 go into 92? Yes, okay. Um, does 36 go into 92? No. All right, so we're just going to start with 16. All we're doing is rationalizing this. If you wrote this answer like this, 8 plus or minus i radical 192 over 2, I would take that. Okay, now we're just working on something different, which is simplifying this. So it's 8 plus or minus, uh, what did it say 192 divided by 16 was? 12. What's 16 times 4? So it's 192 divided by 64. There it is, it's 3. So, what this is is 8 or plus or minus 8i radical 3 all over 2. So, the best answer for this one is 4 plus or minus 4i radical 3. That is a super tough answer, okay? Let's see if all of them are that difficult. So, number two, let's clean this up by adding 2x squared to both sides. So, you get x to the fourth minus 1x squared equals zero. Okay? Let's factor out an x squared. x squared times x squared minus 1 equals zero. So, x could equal zero. By the way, in this one, we also had that. We have three answers to everyone. Well, up to three answers for that question. We're going to have up to four answers for this one. Now, x squared minus 1 factors. We can write this as x squared. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to be negative 1 and add to be 0. So that's x plus 1 times x minus 1 equals 0. Okay? So our answers are 0 negative 1, and positive 1. Now, this one I want to graph now. I want you guys to understand that sometimes it's just as easy as graphing them. Come on, get over here. Y equals clear. So let's, let's um, graph that x squared, x to the fourth, to the fourth, uh, minus x squared. Graph it. Let's move this back over here. Now, you can't exactly see what's going on in this, but remember our answers were 0, negative 1, and 1. Let's go to the table. Look, 0, negative 1, and 1 all result in an answer of 0. So those are our zeros, okay? Number three, I need some more space. x to the fourth plus 5x squared equals 6. x to the fourth plus 5x squared equals 6. Let's make sure I wrote it down right. All right, shout out to Mr. Pletz on this one. First, let me simplify this. x to the fourth plus 5x squared minus 6 equals 0. Now, this looks like something I'm used to factoring, but the x, instead of being squared, is taken to the fourth power and then taken to the second power. So let's let a equal x squared. That turns this into a squared plus 5a minus 6 
equal to 0. Now look, this is something I'm used to factoring. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to be negative 6 and add to be positive 5. So that's x plus 6 times x minus 1. So, oh, sorry, that should be an a, excuse me. It should be an a. i to keep my math straight. Okay, so now I know that a equals 1 or negative 6. Okay. All right, look, so then go back up here. Just substitute it in. Sub substitution is so powerful. So 1 equals x squared. So x could be plus or minus 1. And then you have... Um, negative 6 equals x squared. Ah, so x equals plus or minus 6i, the imaginary number. Okay, and that's your solution for that problem. All right, number 4, x to the fourth minus, so plus, 2x cubed minus 10x squared equals 0. Factor an x squared out. So x could equal 0. Factor this. Two numbers that multiply to be negative 10 and add to be 2. Uh-oh. not factorable. Okay? So, then we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. Instead of using the quadratic formula, let me show you how to find your zeros in your graphing calculator, okay? So y equals, we're going to graph the quadratic. So y equals x squared plus 2x minus 10. Let's graph it, see if we got... Okay, good. There's real answers for this. So, I'm going to calculate, second trace is my calculate. I want to calculate my zeros. I don't know what you can see on this video, but you definitely want to come ask me how to do this if you don't know how. I'm looking for my water bug. There it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Now it's to the left of my answer. It wants the left bound, so then I hit enter. Now I've got to get to the right of my answer. Hit enter. It's saying, would you like for me to take a guess in between these points? It's exactly what I want you to do. Enter. Negative, x is negative 4.31. Now, we want to do that again for the other one. So second, calculate zeros. All right, here we go. Get to the left of the answer. Hit Enter. Get to the right of the answer. Hit enter. Take a guess. 2.3166. Okay? And there's your answers. All right. Number five. This looks like a difference of cubes. Okay? Remember, same, opposite, positive. So this is 3x cubed minus 1 cubed equals 0. Let's factor it. So, 3x minus 1, same, times 3x opposite plus, sorry, 3x squared. Oh, no, no, that should be 9x squared. 9x, 3x, I'll do this, squared, plus 3x times 1, 3x, plus 1. So, 3x minus 1 times 9x squared plus 
3x plus 1. Okay? Equals 0. So either 3x plus, sorry, 3x minus 1 equals 0, or this equals 0. So this one you get 3x equals 1. X is 1 third. There's one of our answers. <coughs> now, this one is going to definitely be um, minus 4ac. Definitely going to be imaginary. So I got to use for this, I got to use quadratic formula. A is 9, B is 3, C is 1. You get minus 3 plus or minus big square root of B squared, 9, minus 4 times 9 times 1, all over 18. Notice this is going to be a negative under the radical, which is how I knew it was imaginary. 9 minus 36. Uh, negative 27 over 18. Scroll down again. Minus 3 plus or minus. This would be 3i radical 3 over 18, which simplifies to negative 1 plus or minus i radical 3 over 6. There's two answers there. Your other answer was x equals one third, and that was a hard question. Good luck with the rest of this video adjourned. Boom!